Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you the setup and installation of this Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. Now before I go on, kindly please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune of DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews just like these on my channel. Now we're going to be installing this doorbell camera. You don't really need to hardwire it because it does come with a rechargeable battery. But let's open up and see what's inside. The first thing that you're going to see is the actual doorbell camera itself. Now if you flip it over, it has a QR code on the back where you'll be scanning that later on. It has the inlet and outlet for the wiring if you have one installed already. And it comes with this rechargeable battery. Now also it comes with these angled uh, bases and these hardwares that comes uh, along with it such as these anchors, screws, tools, leveling devices, drill bits. It also comes with this handy Phillips screwdriver which you can flip over and it comes with an extra skin for the push button. I actually prefer this flat black look. It makes it gives it that that sleek stealth look and it comes with a USB charging cable. Now the very first thing that you need to do is charge this battery. Find a wall outlet somewhere and charge it while you're doing all the setup for the app. Now if you're using an Apple device, your iOS, go to your app icon and go type in the Ring app. Not TikTok, but the Ring app right there. And make sure that you download it. After you download it, open up the app. And then you're going to have to create an account because that if you don't have one already and then just type in the necessary things like your country, your address, and also your phone number. Once that is that done, clear, make sure that you verify everything on your email. And then now you're ready to sync it with your device. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scan the QR code right on the back of your doorbell. Now once that's done, take out this tab out of your uh, battery insert area. Take your charged, fully charged battery and insert it. Now you can exchange the skin later on. I just am um, gonna use the default skin later. Now you're gonna match the same blinking as what you see on the, the phone and just wait for it to sync. Once everything is done syncing, press continue. Now what you're gonna do is the installation. Find the circuit breaker which connects to your front door turn off that power what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be taking out the old doorbell that I have on the front door disconnect the wires now I don't have my voltage detector right here but I know for sure that this is disconnected on the breaker now take off the front skin and then flip this over now take this uh, this Phillips screwdriver that was provided for you now you can wire this up in any way that you like it doesn't matter whichever goes the red or the white goes on each one just pick one and it doesn't matter now hook it up onto one of the connectors just like what you see here uh, make sure the wire is nice and have a hook on the end Hook it up on one of the screws and just tighten it down just like that. Now once it's fully tightened, just place it um, temporarily onto the face.
Now these are the piggybacks that come uh, miscellaneous piggybacks. Now take the leveling tool that they provided for you and hook it up to the front slot. Now this is a very handy tool that I, that I am very happy that Ring did. Saves you a lot of time. Now I have my dad actually help me on this one. And then while I'm while it's nice and level, take the provided hardware that was given to you and then just screw one on temporarily. Now be sure to take out the plastic cover later on as well. Now once it's nice and leveled, you can finally set the rest of the screws on the bottom and on the top and then just fully tighten it. Don't fully tighten your screws though without having it proper, properly leveled. Now take out the plastic face covering. And that should do it. The installation is pretty much almost complete. Now I'm going to switch out the front doorbell um, button skin to the black version. I, li I really like this sleek stealth look rather than the, the silver one. But my parents actually like the silver one better. We're going to go sync it with the phone. Very easy to do. Just press the button to test it out and then you can see that it's already detecting motion on the front and there you have it you can actually see yourself now when you press the live button now I don't know if you can see it right clear because of the glare but it's working really well and that's pretty much all to it now if you found this video helpful friends please hit that like subscribe and notification bells so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos and product reviews on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this quick easy install. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.